Amanda and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this really simple crochet baby blanket. with a super chunky yarn and a 12 millimeter crochet hook so it works up really fast. There's only one row to repeat throughout the pattern and you'll only be using one stitch, the half double crochet and when you're working your stitches you'll be working the half double crochet into the spaces in between each stitch and this creates a really attractive and dense appearance. This crochet baby blanket is 20 by 30 inches and it's part of a little set. So there's a little hoodie with some bare ears and there's a little hat with ears and some ear flaps and there's also some little baby booties as well. I'll put links to all of these other tutorials below the video in the description box. If you like to follow along with written patterns, I have a free written pattern for this baby blanket on my website. I'll put the link to the pattern below the video in the description box. To make this baby blanket, you'll need James C. Brett Flutterby Huggable Super Chunky and it comes in a 250 gram ball. There's 100 meters in each ball and it's 100% super soft polyester. I really loved working with this yarn. It's so soft and it's really fluffy and it's really light and airy. And your finished baby blanket will be pretty lightweight considering the fact you're using a super chunky yarn. You'll also need a 12 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. I'll put links to all the materials that I used below the video. To begin, make a chain of 29. So there's one. two, three, four. I've just finished making my chain of 29 and I'm going to begin working into the second chain from the hook. So one and two and I'm going to be working into the back bumps. So I'll be working into these little back bumps here. So counting one and two into that second chain into the back bump here. I'm going to work one half double crochet. And then I'm going to work one half double crochet into the back bump of each chain all the way to the end of the row.
I'm just coming to the end of my chain and I'm going to work my last half double crochet into the last chain here into the back bump. And at the end of row number one, you should have 28 half double crochet in total. For row number two, and this is the row that you're going to be repeating throughout the pattern, begin by chaining one and turn your work. And to work your stitches, you're going to work in between each stitch. So you'll work into the spaces in between each stitch. So normally you would work through the top of each stitch under both loops. Instead we'll be working in the spaces in between each stitch. So you're going to work one half double crochet into the first space here. And then you're going to work one half double crochet into the next 27 spaces. So into each space all the way along to the end of the row. So the next space is here. Then move on to the next space. And I'm going to work into each space all the way along to the end of the row. And I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you once I get to the end of row number two. I've come to the end of row number two and I'm going to work my last half double crochet into this space here. So this is the chain that we skipped at the beginning of row number one. So I'm going to work, this is the last stitch, so I'm going to work in the space here between the last stitch and the chain one. And at the end of row number two, you should have 28 half double crochet. For the remainder of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat the last row, which was row number two, and you're going to repeat row number two until you have a total of 31 rows. So I'm going to continue with my blanket off camera and I'll meet you once I've got my 31 rows in total. Once you have a total of 31 rows, all you need to do is cut your yarn and weave your little ends in. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.